Hello everyone, Lord Hercules here, once again doing another unboxing video. Now I will admit I probably should say I'm sorry for not being as uploadish on YouTube as I have been in the past. But I hope that you've been enjoying the Minecraft live streams that I've been doing uh, basically every Monday. But let's crack on with this. So we have ourselves some Battles of Legend Armageddon. I misplaced this and forgot all about it. So we're, we're including this. Plus we have our Rage of Ra as well. Now, mostly what we're chasing out of these at this point, because I, well, I probably haven't bought as much this product as much as this product, but I would say it would be obvious why I'd be buying this product. But I want to get some more Egyptian God Slimes. Plus I haven't pulled the Ghost Ray yet. I'm hoping that maybe there's a Ghost Rah Rah in here. And we want to see if we can get any of these uh, new dragons, which are all secret. And we're going to start with the uh, Armageddon packs. So let's get on with this. As usual, these packs have not been tampered with in any way. You know how we do things here. Alright. Necros of Gungir. Gazelle. Sure of Rain. Oh, number four. I am I am also kind of chasing the um the number engine as well. Oh, network! Ooh, ooh, that's spicy. That's a key piece of the combo. Okay, that was that's not too bad a pull. Not too bad. Let's move on. Flower Cardian. Uh, this rabbit. Mystical Beast Wing. Oh, Appliance a Link. Appliance a Monster. And Jelly. Okay. I haven't really thought too seriously about making Middle of Tudors, but they do seem to be a bit meme so maybe that might be in the uh, future. Maybe. I don't know. Oh, I'm right off the bat. Number three, Numeron Great Trini. Finds a test. Ooh, Psychic Wave for Jinzo. Oh, number two as well. And Time Stream. Not too bad. Not too bad indeed. Yeah, we're just going to crack on through these going as quick as we can. And when we get through it, we're basically just going to be looking at the rest. Alright. Oh, Penguin Torpedo. That's nice. Oh, the Appliance Field. Intruder Alarm. Yellow Alert. Oh, Caligar. And Specimen Investigation. Alright, this is the Fossil card. That's nice. I like the Torpedo. The Torpedo, I feel, is spicy. I will say that there's a lot of really nice reprints in ba in Armageddon. Alright. Appliance of Reuse, Sunlight Wolf. Oh, number four. Secure Gardener. Oh, we got one of the dragons. Dark Armed. Oh, yeah. We're actually going to keep that aside. Oh, we need to keep that in camera view. There we go. We got the XCs. We got the XCs. That is real nice. Like, if we can get them all out of one box, that would be epic. Alright. Afterglow. It's all in. Ooh, number one. Appliancer. Ah, Jackalope. That's not too bad. That's not too bad at all. That's it. There's supposed to be some sort of red ice card in here too. Is that this? No, that's Dark Arm. That's that guy. Hmm. Must have missed that somewhere. I'm not, when I was checking the list. Ah, number three, Cicada King, the true number three. Formula Skipper, Galaxy Worm, Picatoro, Powered Crawler. Not too bad.
Ooh, Dragon Buster for Buster Bladers. Sanctum, Torpedo, Numeron 1, Armored White Bear. Hmm, nice. Alright, Shira, Viking Fan, Raging, Goyo, ah, Fossil Dragon, Skullgar, nice. Yeah, we, we, we're just going to go through these until we find something really interesting, something that piques my interest. But these uh, secrets that we are pulling out of the packs are nice too. Numeron Free, Psychic Wave, ooh, Fire Flint Lady, that's uh, not too bad. Asylum. Ah, Fossil Warrior Skull Bone. Nice. Ah, another Appliance and Monster. Galaxy Worm. Gungnir. Oh, Nias Alias and oh, Fossil Fusion, nice. Which I think you can only use the Fusion Sun on the Fossil Fusion monsters. I'm sure if I re, -re when I reread the card, I may be proven wrong or proven right. Whichever is the case. All right, Malefic Paradigm Dragon, nice. Book of Moon, that's always good. Yellow Alert. Vacuum Fent. Ah, another Skull Gears. Nice. So, first part, we got a really nice looking card out of that. Now we're going to move on to the second pile of the box and see what we get. Now we got the, uh, the Deer at the Forest. Ooh, Koimetri Drago, Flower Cutting and Cherry Blossoms, ooh, Cross Sheep, that's not too bad. Weathering Soldier, hmm, for Fossil Fusions, not too bad, not too bad at all. But I think so far, Pull of the Box is looking like the, uh, the Dark Armed Xyz Monster. Like, I don't know what I'd want to be using that for. Probably in some dragon deck. Appliance a uh, copy bokul, psychic wave. Oh, a ble beating at school. I think that's a nice one. And Shining flare, beautiful. Oh, and we got the end. Um, the dark hero, excrudiado. I probably butchered the name, but eh. All right, but that's not too bad. I've been uh, looking to get some more obedient school, potentially for some of my. Beastie decks like Ojamas, especially with Ojamas getting a new Ojama in the near future. I am Ojama Pink, I think. Okay, next up, Hero Chaos Neos, Neos Alias. Oh, Lion Emperor. I must have missed him on the list too. Uh, Celopus and oh, Skull King. Nice. Not too bad a pack. That's a pretty boss looking pack. I like it. Still only one of the dragon cards. Alright, what do we got here? Anchor, number three, number one in the same pack. O Lion, and Numeron Calling. Okay, that's not too bad a pack. We might actually have uh, completed um, a number engine, or at least one set of the number engine. <laughs> now we got the deer, oh, Ross Disciple, Topologic Zero Boros, Numeron Wall, and another Angeli. Hmm, we are running out of secrets to pull. How many packs we got left? We have. Seven packs exactly. That's the rank of our uh, Dark Arm Dragon. 
Oh, gee. Alright, we got the Hedgehog Boost Warrior. Chaos Neos, Steam Synchron. Oh, that's what it is. Darkness Metal, the Dragon of Dark Steel. Oh, that is another epic pull. That's two dragons, one box. Let's go. Let's go. I was about to say something else, but I didn't think it would be appropriate. So I'm just not going to continue that sentence. Okay, let's go. Laundry Dragon. <laughs> it looks so silly. Uh, reuse Salopus Purgatorio Numero Network. Okay, that's nice. Still, that dragon pole. Like, it's not specifically a Red Eyes card, but it would probably work with Red Eyes. Alright, what do we got? Go your Defender, Book of Moon, Numero Wall, Number 4 Numero. Oh, Blizzard Wolf. That's not too bad. That's pretty nice. Right, three packs left. Let's see what we get. Okay, another Drago. The Field Spell. Chris, the Crack of Dawn. Cicada King. Ah, Polar Penguin. <laughs> Oh, giving penguins more power. Oh, wait. Now we have two packs left. <laughs> I must have missed one. Silly me. Alright. Torpedo, Dragon, Laundry, Caliga, Test, The Dark Hero. Oh boy. Are we going to pull anything else amazing out of this box? Like, I would say at this point, it's unlikely that we're going to get all of the dragons, because there's like at least three others. Alright, we've got Afterglow, Fire Flint, Black Whirlwind. Nice. Yellow Alert, and Jackalope. Alright, and last Armageddon pack. Alright, something new. Dryer Drake. Eh, he's kind of cute. Formula Skipper. Invoke the Sidium. Paradigm Dragon. And. Oh, Glacial Beast Iceberg Narwhal. Okay, that's interesting. That's interesting. Nice for water decks. Not too bad. So, we've pulled two epic dragon extra deck monsters out of this. I could not have asked for a better result except maybe to get more out of it. So let's tidy up our Armageddon packs. Let's just... Yeah, Darkness Metal here, he's very generic. So you could use this guy in anything. But he does work with, with like a graveyard and banished resurrection. So that's uh, kind of spicy. Not too spicy, but kind of spicy. What about Dark Armed? How are you different from your original counterpart? Uh, five Dark Monsters in Graveyard, so it works in Dark Decks. Ah, oh, so this is a summoning condition. So I can use a level 5 or higher Dark Dragon I control as material. If I have exactly 5 Dark Monsters in my graveyard. Okay, that's interesting. And then the similar effect to its original counterpart where you... You sacrifice a card and you destroy something your opponent controls. Then it also banishes one card from your graveyard for the price of not being able to attack. So that's spicy. So I think Dark Time Dragon is definitely pull of the box. 
It definitely does have a slightly better effect than Darkness Metal. Plus, it does have a really interesting looking summoning condition as well. So now let's move on to Rage of Ra. The set that brought us the Return of Mech Lords, New Egyptian God plus Slime Support. And a... Uh, I actually forget what else is in here. Like it's all antagonist kind of stuff. Alright, so we're just gonna go oh yeah, the Jinza stuff. And we got a wild monster pierce and synchro absorber. Not too bad. But we're after Egyptian God Slime and Ghost Rare Ra. Yeah, there's like about five things. There's Jinzo, there's Mech Lords, there's Marek. So what else we got? Cyber Energy Shock. And yeah, maybe that's all there is. I can't really remember. But overall, it's not a bad set. It's not a bad set. Alright. I'm at a Flex Slime. That's always good to have. Man of the Band Creator. Not too bad as well. Monster Born, Holding Legs, Infinity Core, Deflector. Oh boy. Oh, and I suppose I haven't talked about my mat yet either. This is basically my go-to mat for playing at my locals. My quotation mark waifu mat. Now some of you may recognize the character impicted on the mat as Miku Hatsune. Vocaloid di cyber singer person. Moving on, psychic shortwave, ejector, holding arms, offering alloy. Yeah, I'm just a big fan. She's nice. Enough said. Palm of the cards. Uh, white Aura Behumet. That's not too bad. Psychic Mega Cyber. Not too bad. Now I will say that in this in-between bit, I am looking forward to Yu-Gi-Oh! in 2021. Because there's new support coming of archetypes, there's new, new stuff that just came out that I really want to get my hands on and retune those relevant decks. One of which is FAs. And uh, for me, it's looking like it's going to be a great year full of Yu-Gi-Oh! content. Whether or not the uh, local scene is going to recover from the crush card virus, as we Yu-Gi-Oh players call it, is yet to be seen. Let's continue on. Ross Cyborg, Jared Gato, really spicy card. Really spicy. Granel, Lord, Mound. Yeah, we probably really should be focusing on just the rares. All right, what do we get here? Sun God Unification and Deflection. Okay. Yeah, there's some really nice reprints in here, as you may have seen. Like some of Marek's monsters, like Jurigato. The had uh, the Holding Monsters, Arms and Legs. Monster Reborn. Even like an Amplify, that's a really good reprint for the Jinzo archetype because this I believe is its second printing now. Not counting uh Actually, I, I'm, I'm not even sure if this is actually the second printing, but it's the, uh, the most modern printing of the card to date so far. Making it, this is still a relevant pack to get. And that was a uh, Psychic Mega Cyber. 
And we have Everlasting Alloy. We're just going to try and burn through these as quick as we can. Or at least as quick as my hands can go through them. Da, 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 da. Makayura, I did love him coming off the list to complete my Melvin deck. And I don't even use his effect. I don't. He's in here. He's in the deck just as a monster because he was used by Merrick. Or should I say, used by Melvin. I like calling him Melvin because he's not Merrick, but yet he is also Merrick. But he's also not Merrick. Plus the way Ludo Karibo depicted him in the Abridged series. <laughs> Classic. Reactor Slam, that's not too bad. Can be spicy when played right. Uh, let's see. Blaze Cannon and Cosmo Channeling. <laughs> that's kind of a, a funny mechanic card. That channeling card. It's one of those... I'm going to guess what your next card is, because it's totally a JoJo reference kind of thing. Yeah, Brooklyn Rage. <laughs> uh, okay, Deployer Obligato and Mechalord Astro the Eradicator. Okay. Now, I honestly do think that my chances of pulling the Ghost Rare especially being almost through the first half of the box is slim to none but there is that slight chance that we may actually get it and that would be epic mound but i do feel that we have a higher chance of getting egyptian god slime another copy of that maybe even the alternate art rare uh, i mean Alternate art, raw, or as they say in the bridge series, the Mega Ultra Chicken. Cyber Energy Shock. That's not too bad. Because I've already pulled two of that alternate art, and getting a third would give me a playset of that to use as I see fit. Don't know what I'd use it in. Mercury again. But it would still be nice to have. And even alternate art printings can be pretty much very nice money cards because they are alternate rare or alternate arts of, of, an, of an original character. Like one card, for example, that has alternate art printings to, to its original is the Celtic Guardian, which works pretty nice when you're building a deck with alternate arts. Even Dark Magician has about two to maybe even three different alternate art cards. The rarest of which is probably the Arcana Dark Magician, as we see in the uh, anime. Lord of Cosmos, Deflection. Alternates are uh, interesting and quite often very pretty looking. Mega Cyber. Ooh, I think we're running out of things to talk about. Yeah. Next year's Yu Gi Oh! does look to be spicy. Another Eradicator. I'm especially looking forward to the new Wind Witch support. Because I built what is probably the... Well, I suppose we're all entitled to our opinion, but in my opinion, is the best and strategic Wind Witch deck. A Wind Witch Magispector deck. Not a reactor slime. And I say that because they both have synergy with each other because they are wind spellcaster monsters. I even had a friend helped me to design it to be more competitive at the time 
And this is at the time where we were just in Master Rule 4. Guardian Slime, oh, that's pretty nice. Mound. But yeah, I haven't used that deck majorly or tinkered with it in great detail since that time. So it'll be interesting to break it down and see what we can do with it. Everlasting Alloy. Now at some point in the um, potentially near-ish future, probably even starting next year, I want to start doing some deck profiles on my personal decks. Like, naturally, I want to do my Melvin deck. I wouldn't mind doing my Macro deck. And maybe even a few of my other favorite and powerful decks. Like, who could forget a classic like Cyber Dragons? Something that's as bread and butter as that. When it comes to Yu-Gi-Oh! and even going over modified versions of other decks such as a deck that I got from Capti's channel from one of his uh, uh, YGO Pro dual videos which basically revolves around a certain OTK combo of which I have uh, had to modify the deck because of ban list restrictions and uh, uh, what I have available to use. Malemily, we've got Revelation and another Mega Cyber. So yeah, I uh, am looking forward to making more videos like that. Plus, there's also a few vlog style videos I would like to get at and maybe even try my hand at doing some reaction videos. Maybe even putting a new spin on the reaction video frontier. Another mound. We have mounds for days, but then being just a base rare, it's to be sure. <laughs> Alright, what else we got? Channeling, not very impressive, but okay. Not a eradicator. Okay. Now I suppose one thing that I should say is that if you are not necessarily a Yu-Gi-Oh player in general, but like a trading card player overall, whether you collect the cards, you play the game, basically if you love playing trading card games, be sure to drop down to your local your local card shop or wherever you go to buy your cards occasionally or regularly and make sure to support them because they are the lifeblood of your local community. For me here it's mainly the local card shop or should I say card slash game shop and it's similar competitor which doesn't actually hold tournaments. But still, the two... Oh my goodness! And as I'm rambling on, we get God Slime. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah! Look at that beauty! Look at this beauty! Egyptian God Slime. Oh, my second copy, yes! But yeah, support your local card economy. And keep your games alive. Don't let them die. Like right now, I, I'd hate to say it, but Yu-Gi-Oh! is kind of struggling in my area. And we're not even that crush card hit. Like I've only heard rumors of it being in my area. But we're in a nice sweet spot thanks to our border protections laid in by the government, which, let's face it, I, I, I personally will teabag on the government, its policies, and all that, 
But overall, they do do things right when push comes to shove. And they have to. They are servants of the people. And I am the people. Or, I am one of the people. So they better dang well do their jobs and keep us safe. Keep us in jobs. In fact, where's my job? I want job. Not a mound. Ah, uh, this is kind of turning into an unrelated rant now. As we near the end of the packs. But yeah, it doesn't matter whether you're playing a, a current card game like Yu-Gi-Oh! Magic. The new Digimon TCG that's yet to be released. Or is being released. I'm, I'm not exactly sure on the details specifically. Uh, Final Fantasy. Uh, Dragon Ball Super, which... It's kind of died here as well. Oh, Mechlord Assembly, that's nice. And another Eradicator. Or if you're like partial to more classic and already deceased card games, like uh, the original Dragon Ball Z trading card game and its GT spin off, uh, the original Digimon trading card game. There was a uh, once a, a there was a One Piece one, and I think there was also a Naruto one. I have vague memories about seeing trading packs like that, and like Target and such. Yeah, the true name, not too bad. Or even other ones like um Transformers. Uh, I remember that was a My Little Pony one. If you're into that. But yeah, if you're into any kind of trading card game, or even into any card game at all, be sure to go down and support your local game shop. Because the community could definitely use the support. And that basically is going to do it for the video, because... Oh my goodness, we didn't exactly pull the mega pull that I would have in liked. We didn't get maximum amount of uh, Armageddon and we didn't get the Ghost Rare, but we still walk away with two of the dragons out of Armageddon plus a God Slime. And I gotta say, I'm happy about this pull. I cannot be mad about this. I got one chase card I'm, I was specifically looking for. Even if it's just casually, because I it's my, now my second copy, which means I may not even use the card. I might just keep it as like trade fodder or something. But still, it's nice to have a spare one. I can even use that in the same deck or even in a brand new deck. Plus these two dragons, pretty nice as well. And yeah. Um, so yeah, if you enjoyed... Seeing this kind of content or any of my other content in the video, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Give the video a thumbs up and hit that bell icon for notifications when I next upload a video. And also on a, on a slightly different side note, Christmas is coming. So it's n no, there's no better time to go out there and support your local card shop than now. Go out and buy yourself maybe a box of packs for yourself and open them on Christmas Day. Pulling one of the best secrets or ultras in the box could make your Christmas. Or if you really want to be in the Christmas spirit, don't buy a box just for yourself. Buy a box for a friend or maybe a couple of friends. Spread Christmas cheer and the, f and the joy of card games with those you love to play them with. And maybe with those that just may not have the funds available to go out and buy themselves boxes upon boxes of product. I will see you guys next time. I hope you enjoyed. And may all your duels be good duels. Hercules out.